Hello everybody, in this video I will be demonstrating how to use XML exports of reports from PLS software and how to quickly import them into programs like Excel for quick and easy formatting. To start, I will open PLS CAD to our demo project. The report I will use in this demonstration is the PI report located under Terrain, Alignment, PI report. If you right click in this report, you are given several options, one of which is XML export. Please note that almost all reports in PLS software can be XML exported. When I click on this option, it's asking where to save the XML file. I'm going to save it to the desktop. It then asks if I would like to open the XML file with the default viewer. I'm going to select no for this example. I'm going to minimize PLS CAD and I'm going to open Excel. The fastest way to get XML data into Excel is simply drag and drop into your spreadsheet. You're given a couple different options. I'm going to look at the XML source task pane option. When I click OK, you'll notice that in the right you get a source task pane with all of the different XML data fields. You can simply drag and drop these into your spreadsheet to build the table as you'd like. I'm going to drag alignment number, PI number, northing, and easting. Once you have the data fields as you'd like, you simply click on the data tab and click refresh and it pulls the data from the XML file into your spreadsheet table. You can then also quickly sort this information, filter it, or add a totals row. Now if you need to make a change in PLS CAD, you can re-export the XML over the top of the old one. To show this, I'm going to go back to PLS CAD, go to my plan view, add an additional alignment, and insert two additional PIs. Then I'm going to rerun the PI report, right click, XML export, save over the top of the existing, go back to my spreadsheet, and all I have to do is hit the refresh button and you'll see it's populating with the new data. There's now six PIs instead of four. Now I'm going to show the other option for XML exporting. Let's close our spreadsheet and open up a blank one. Drag and drop the XML file in and this time let's do an XML table. When you do this, you'll notice that all of the data fields in the XML file are simply dumped into a large table in Excel. There are all, there's also additional information not present in the PLS CAD report, such as creator information, what computer it was created on, the project path, and so on. Now I'd like to show some simple customizations in PLS CAD. If we open PLS CAD back up and right-click in the report, and we hit the Customize option, and then we click on Simple Customizations in the upper left, You'll notice that a lot of the data fields have hidden in here. This only controls the display of the items in the PLS CAD report. When you perform an XML export, all of these data fields are included, whether or not they have hide or show selected. The other option I'd like to show in this dialog box is the include an XML export option. To showcase this better, I'm going to run a different report called Lines Reports Summary. This report has many different subsections. If you right click in the report and go to XML export, you can see all of the different options that we have. There's also this export all option. If I were to customize an individual subsection report and uncheck the option for include an XML export, when I perform an export all, I will get all subsections of the report minus any that have that option unchecked. The last option I'd like to show with XML exporting is the project XML export under file, export, XML. Exporting this option is going to give you a large number of the popular reports in PLS CAD, such as the criteria report, PI report, structure coordinate report, bill of material, and several others. There's also the option to include a, a complete or a condensed version. The complete version is going to include additional reports like the stringing chart report, seg tension report, wind and weight spans, and structure loads. This concludes the demonstration of XML exporting. If you have additional questions, please send them into support at powline.com. And thank you for watching and using PowerLine System software.